Welcome back to McFall Farms, where we believe strongly in faith, family, and farm life. I'm Bo McFall, and today we're making this video as part of a series on our high tensile fence installation, as well as proper fence charger installation with grounding. And this is about how to weatherproof your fence charging station, your actual charging box. If you're a first time visitor, please consider subscribing. With that said, let's get to it. Okay, so today we're going to show you how to weatherproof your electric fence charger. And it's a pretty simple process actually. I know that uh, some people build little wood shelters over them, some people put a piece of tin over the top of them to try to block the wind and rain off of them. Uh, I saw this on another site, thought it was a great idea, so I thought I'd make a quick video about it. And here is how you can do that. Picked up just a container, they make all different styles, I got this one. At Walmart, less than six dollars. Lockable lid opens up. So what we're going to do is we're going to put two small holes here in this bottom, and then we're going to put a larger hole for the plug to go through. One for the ground wire, one for the hot lead, and then uh, we're going to install this on the post with the charger. I'll show you how that goes. So basically. You use a half inch bit, three eighths bit, maybe whatever you whatever you have available to just make a quick hole for your ground wire and your positive wire coming in. Super easy, two small holes. And then I'm gonna make a larger hole with a hole saw. plug through for power. So we got that drilled out and now we're going to carry this over and mount it onto the pole and mount the charger inside of it. We'll show you that. The very first thing you want to do is be certain that the power is unplugged, which is right here. We're going to unplug that. Then we're going to unhook the positive and the negative side. Then we're going to remove these two bolts, hold it to the pole, and install our box we made. This is what happens anytime I try to get anything done in the pasture. They gang up on me. Okay, so the first thing we did was remove the existing charger, making sure the power is disconnected. Now we went ahead and installed the box that we drilled the holes in. You can see that right here. And now we're going to reset the charger inside the box. Now we're going to mount our Zariba charging box back inside this box. Twist these wires down out of the way. Set that down on the inside. Making sure we got enough length for the wires to reach. Just gonna drill this right through the back of the, back of the box. So we're going to reconnect the positive and the negative wires, then we'll plug the charger back in. So positive wire reconnected. them around just a bit to make them get back where they need to be in position. And then lastly, we're going to bring in our stitching cord on the bottom. Back 
come through the bottom of the box in the big hole we drilled. Then we can plug that right back in. Push those back out of the way. Snap our cover over the box. And now we have a nice weatherproof system to keep our charger safe out of the elements. And that's how you weatherproof your fence charging station. I'll leave a card up above for some other great videos related to high tensile fencing as well as Faith Family of Farm Life. Thanks for watching McFall Farms.